Welcome to the Oddcast. I'm Alex. And I'm Ricky. And we're just two odd dudes that decided to start a podcast. Yeah, today on the podcast, or on the Oddcast, we're, we're going to be talking about uh, are we addicted to our screens? And I've got some fun facts here for Alex that uh, I did some research, and he doesn't know the facts yet. So we're going to talk about that. Right. We actually put a poll out on our social media. Uh, Do we have the responses from that? Yeah, I'll have that. I'll pull that up. Okay. And so... We'll we'll be talking all about our our view if we're addicted to screens. We'll talk about you you know kind whether of whether you're addicted yeah, to screens, whether you think you are, um, and then also some some statistics of whether uh, the scientists say you're addicted to your right, screen or right. not. But let's get to the podcast. <laughs> all right, well let's get into this. Um, like I said, I've done the research of uh, the social media addiction science um but before we get into that let's kind of just talk about ourselves where we kind of see ourselves in this spectrum um so our big discussion today is are we right addicted to screens um you know one of the beauties or uh not beauties of an iphone is i can go in and actually see all of my screen time i don't know if you could do that on your phone um i think i could i just haven't done it because i don't i'm a little bit scared to look scared yeah um you know, especially with when I was a youth pastor and would do a lot of work on my phone, um, you know, texting leaders, students, you Facebook, know, social media, all that to, kind yeah. of stuff. Um, I was on my phone a lot more. Right. Um, and what was kind of funny was I was on social media a ton, but never really posting anything on social media because I was like so exhausted of it by the time on the different, you know, accounts for, for the group that I didn't really ever want to do it for myself. Um, but I, would still say that I was and probably am still pretty addicted to my phone where mm-hmm. like I wouldn't leave the house without it. Like I, I leave the house, you know, without other stuff. I mean, I don't really ever leave the house without my backpack either. Um, but that also has my laptop and my iPad in it. So I don't know if like that makes it worse or better. Do you, but do you I, like the, like the four pocket pat down? Cause I always do that where I'm like, okay, four pockets. Yeah. yeah. Well, actually I guess I, no, actually now it is a four pocket. Cause Right I mean, pocket. I know I have four pockets. What do you have in all four of your pockets? Oh, well, okay. Right pocket is phone. Left pocket is chapstick slash. I, I tap the keys on my on my belt. Um, and then back right pocket is wallet. Left and now left back pocket is a mask. Oh, so I just I leave my pockets. mask in my truck usually. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, and then my phone is in my right pocket, and my wallet is in my front left pocket. I don't wear my wallet in my back pocket. Really? Yeah. Just so nobody can steal it? Or? No one can steal it. And also, um, if you got a fat wallet, sitting uh, with something in your back pocket hurts your back. I, and don't I already have, have a fat problems. wallet. Even if you don't, you're still sitting on something un- uneven, and it can hurt mm-hmm. your back over time. And I already have a bad back with already having back pain daily. I don't need another another reason, you know? But So, yes, I do do the pat, but it's two pats. It's two um, pats, yeah. Mine also includes my gun. Oh. But that's not in the pocket. That's just on me. So you and two pats hit your your wallet, yeah, and your your phone, and your gun. Yeah, my gun sits here usually, oh, so I can okay. feel it when I do okay, it. And it. it also like you can kind of just kind of know it's there. Yeah, you're a front gun kind of guy. Yeah, 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 for sure. But um, so yeah, I would say, and definitely if I looked at like my my screen time stats, which now I'm now I think about, I'm going to look at when you're you're talking. I would say I'm I'm addicted to my phone. Or, or to my screens. I'm going to say okay. screens, not just phone. Let's we're, we're going to be really clear. We're not just talking about your phone because you might be like, I'm never on my phone. But, but you that play video mean, games yeah, 24/7? You play video games or you're, you know, you're always watching TV or right. YouTube or you're on your laptop or your tablet or whatever. Right. I How think, about you? I think I am addicted to my screens when I'm alone okay. and not addicted to them when I'm around people. When I'm around people, it's typically easier to not just be sitting on – Instagram looking through reels or whatever it is or or shopping on one of the ads that they just sent me for like Vans high tops or whatever yeah um but whenever I'm like whenever I wake up it's like there's like a natural progression that my hand does or it just like automatically opens Instagram yeah yeah. it's just like oh I'm just like I'll just look at Instagram Instagram, that's your go-to Instagram's my go-to Instagram and YouTube are my go-to. Yeah, you watch you watch uh, the same YouTube channel every every morning, right? I do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, well, during the week, during not the, during the weekend. Oh, right. Yeah. Well, that's because they post just during the week. Yeah, yeah. just during the week. Makes yeah. sense. Um, and so it it kind of depends where I'm at, but if I'm just kind of hanging out by myself, definitely a screen addict. Like I'll I'll be sitting there and think, 
you know, I should really get off of my phone. And then like 15 minutes goes by and I'm like, you know, I should really get off of my phone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then it continues at least like, I think I sat in bed because I have a, I have like an eight to five job. And so in those mornings I can't really do that. Yeah. So that's nice. Cause I don't have to worry about it as much because You're I just trying I to have get to, to work. work. Yeah. yeah. Um, but the other day, like Saturday, is it today, Saturday, I don't know. Today is Saturday. It wasn't Saturday. Oh, it was Thursday, Thanksgiving. Yeah. Uh, on Thanksgiving, I woke up and had nowhere to go for like two or three hours and so sat scrolled. Yeah. Sat in bed for literally like an hour, just scrolling through Instagram and then got up and immediately felt just like uh, the human embodiment of sludge. Like I just like, you just, you don't feel good. You yeah. Like you feel like the opposite of how you feel when you just worked out and did something productive. Yeah. So let's see. Uh, I used my phone a lot this week, mostly because I was uh, I baked my first ham on yep. Sunday for our young. I had to call group. your mom a lot. I did call my mom a lot uh, on Thursday because uh, I was baking my first turkey, which turned out great uh, for Thanksgiving. But uh, let's see, let's see here. Last week I was total screen time. Wow. So two weeks ago, and then last week my screen time were both fifty-five hours. I was literally within wow. four minutes of each other the last two weeks. This week, though, I'm already. Oh, that today it ends today because it's you know Saturday. stretches it from Sunday to Saturday. I'm at 80 hours this week. Oh on my, my phone. gosh, yeah. that's like almost. That's it's like a little bit less than four days. Yeah. Right now, it's 11 hours and 32 minutes a day is my daily average. Most of that was on on Tuesday. Let's see. Yeah, Tuesday. I it pretty much my phone was on all day because. I'm not really sure why. I don't, right. I don't remember what Tuesday was. What was Tuesday? Tuesday uh, was Tuesday. It was Tuesday. I don't think we did. Did we do Tuesday. something Tuesday? Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. I think I was doing research and I, I was, was doing Square stuff and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, anyways, okay. um, yeah, I, I, so clearly, uh, you know, that's a lot. And I that that's moved down. Right. You know, a couple weeks before that was like, I was on like four hours a day. Which is like, oh, look how great I am. Four hours a day. But that's a lot of time on your phone. Yeah. Um, now, granted, I don't have, I didn't have a nine to five job. It wasn't in the office working on somebody else's stuff. I was right. doing my own work on my phone. Still, that's a right. lot of time on your phone. So, um, I forgot what I was going to say. I just completely blanked. Well, I have a question. If okay, you... go ahead. Yeah. So, has it changed for you? Because I know for me, like early, maybe not even early years of high school, maybe just high school, I played like eight hours of minecraft a day on a school day mm -hmm. you know and so like my screen time, on your phone oh you no, just mean no, in general no. in general okay. in general screen time like my screen time was probably at a max then because any moment i was home i was playing minecraft mm -hmm. oh sorry for everyone that just heard me punch my mic that was my bad <sighs> how dare you so like at that point i was far less social i mean i would still like play online with people but right. like there was a lot of that time that i just spent just looking at screens mm -hmm. and it's i think gone down since then like i think yeah. now i'm on my screens much less it just takes a different form it's typically like instagram reels or whatever yeah i would say um mine has definitely gotten ups up since high school yeah when i was in high school i was a you know two sport athlete yeah and that means in like basketball what is a year-round sport really right um, and high school sports are crazy so um, because of that, it was like, you know, you, I would get to school and week one, we're already in training for basketball, which doesn't start to winter. And so I was doing, you know, get to school, go to school all day. And then I would, you know, do, I was also working athletic training room, you know, getting sports med hours. I did like a, you know, a couple hundred hours. I think the last year, Zach and I both were working that and we did like, I want to say like six, 700 hours wow. our senior year in yeah. the training room. So it was like, it was be leave school, go to the training room, work if I didn't have, right. And that was if I didn't have practice. And then I had all my homework and stuff on top of that. So I wasn't, and you were a good student. I was a good student. Yeah. Right. So, Oh, I was, I was good at getting good grades. Yeah. I, wouldn't okay. say I was a good student. You were a good academic. Yeah, exactly. A yeah. bad student. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I was, I had a lot of fun in high school. I really yeah. like, I enjoyed high school. Um, uh, but the, the screen time was, I think was less. I played more video games and stuff like that. And then I, every once in a while I play video games. Now I do enjoy it. I have fun. Um, but usually my screen time is social media. Right. Um, now more personal. 
Um, I love Twitter. I'm on Twitter a lot. You know, you do love Twitter. With, yeah, I do love Twitter. It's you know, hit me up on Twitter. At we, Ricky we had this old joke when we were working in youth ministry together where he would say something and he'd be like, oh, that's a tweet. And then me, because I worked under him, would always be like, oh, like, where's my notebook? I have to write it down. Yeah. I just gave the wrong Twitter at. I forgot I changed it. It's at Ricky underscore Bills. Just so you want to follow me? Hit me up. Uh, got some good tweets on there. A lot of theology jokes. A um, lot, lot, lot of stuff on there. A lot of bagging on Chick-fil-A. Oh, yeah. 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 Was Controversial lo- stuff. Getting lost in the sauce. Also follow our... Uh, our oddcast, the oddcast, uh, shameless at, plug at, at two odd dudes. Yeah. Yeah. That's our Twitter. Anyways, if you're addicted to your screens, go follow those. At least you get some good content. In. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's talk about these Instagram polls. So I put up some polls last night. Um, and we asked a couple questions for our upcoming, um, podcast. Right. Um, the first one was I asked people if social media has helped or hindered, um, your friend making skills, which was what we talked about right. in the last episode. And we hadn't put this up yet. And this um, one actually kind of surprised me. Yeah. I'm really surprised. And, but I thought it was fitting, especially for, for still this conversation. 73% of people that voted said that they think that social media has actually helped their friend making skills. Right. And so that was really interesting compared to what kind of how we talked about, you know, friends and how we think social media has hindered it. But I do think there is an aspect of for, for some people, it actually helps you be able to connect with people. So mm-hmm. what we were kind of saying was, yeah, now take that next step. Right. Right. Like make that kind of online acquaintance a friend. And I think that, so that could, I yeah. could definitely understand how people could be like, yeah, this has helped me grow and just my ability to talk to people. Now it's them taking that next step. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You know, I would, I would wonder if you had changed the question to like, how has social media helped you deepen your friendships? Uh-huh. You know, because- Maybe there is a sort of like... I don't okay, know how I to do that on, Twitter, on Instagram. <laughs> Instagram. If it was Twitter, I could do it. If yeah. it's Instagram, I don't know what I'm doing. So <laughs> yeah, that, that's that one's you ask that one next time. Yeah, I don't, yeah. That's a great question. Because that's kind of what we're talking about, right? Like, So maybe yeah. maybe social media helps people get kind of like their foot in the door, but mm-hmm. it does need to go to that next level. Yeah. Like, hey, we're actually going to hang out. We're actually going to talk. We're going to be real. We're not just going to look at each other's photos or jokes or just send each other memes, which I do constantly. Right. You know, Alex like, only talks to me in GIFs. I only, yeah. <laughs> He's Gif, never once texted and TikToks, me a word. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, but like, that's, that's probably what they're talking about. Or maybe, mm-hmm. maybe I'm wrong, but I assume it's kind of like a, yeah, it's, it's easier to talk to people or like just comment on something because mm-hmm. there's less ramifications. You know, you don't have to have the full conversation, but I well, guess it looks like it's a lot is, of like our generation. Right. Um, and, and younger who are voting on that. And so I would say a lot of them that's all they've re- like uh, for a lot of us, that's all we've really known. Right. In social yeah. Media, and we've grown up in that age. So to be like, yeah, it's helped. Of course it's helped. I can connect with people that I don't right. normally get to see. Um, so I would, I would understand that, but I do agree with you. Like goes to the it, next level. Has it helped you grow in your friendships or has it just helped you kind of make a friend, but then you kind of stay there. We should, I want to post that after we're done with this one. Let's post. Um, do you feel like you have a lot of deep friendships? When do you want to post that? Because this this is airing December 7th, uh, all five of our things. Keep listening. Keep binging. You're on number three. You got two more to go. Yeah. Um. I don't know. Maybe I won't post it. We'll talk. We'll, we'll figure it out. It'll how either about, be up how there. How about we just tell them, when you listen to this, when you get to this awesome part of this podcast, yes. just DM us. DM us on, on Twitter, Instagram, You know, email us, whatever. Has social media. What was your question? Uh, Do you agree that social media has helped you? make friends and if so has it helped you make deep friendships and how many like do you have a lot of deep friendships that was a lot of questions they'll, so they'll deep, figure out. deep friendships in my on my hand i counted two but in reality yeah. there were three there questions. were three yeah, yeah. yeah so deep friendships do you think social media has helped deep friendships yeah dm us let us know let us know your thoughts let me get to this next one because we're gonna run, we don't want to run out of time we're still good i think we're good we're we asked like are you addicted to your screens and 69% of people said yes. That's crazy. That is crazy. I actually expect, honestly, kind of expected more people to say yes. But here's why I thought that. I thought more people would say yes because it's kind of like the joke of culture now. Right. right? Like, oh, yeah, we're addicted to our screens. And we, like, make light of it because we know it's true. Right. Um, but I'm actually really curious that that many people said no. Like, I want to know. I want to talk to those people and be like, are you genuinely not? Do you genuinely think you're not? Or are you just like in denial about not being right like i don't want to call those people out but i also want to know like 
if you're not, you know, what are you doing? Like, and I know some people are like, Hey, I'm just busy. Like I can't, I don't even right, have time right. to be addicted to my screens because I'm, you know, uh, working full time and I've got kids and I got this. Right. This. Yeah. So awesome. Um, I hope I continue to hope in my own life, I fill that screen time with reading and other things that are better for right. me. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I was just really interested that that many, that for, many people I mean, said it's no. still sad that that many people said yes. Right. Right. Cause that's a still really high percentage, uh, almost 70% of people. But I was also interested that that many people said no. And that kind of made me happy. Like, especially yeah. with what, you know, what's going on in culture right now where so many people are relying on screens right. to even communicate. That was just really interesting to me. I, I kind of think there is a little bit of like a sub culture coming out that is like against screens. You know, we have a lot of these uh, new like documentaries or things that are talking about like how social media is bad for you yeah. or they're like what's that one taking that, social social dilemma social I dilemma i haven't yeah. watched it Did i haven't watch either it? but i've heard we'll, we'll need to watch good things about it we'll watch it right now and we'll cut it and we'll come back and we'll no no, no we're not do gonna that. do it <laughs> um but there's a lot of stuff coming out about how social media is bad for you like this is something that is known by people like everybody knows that social media is can be harmful not that it's always harmful but it, it, it can be harmful if you're addicted to it mm-hmm. um because it, it does start to change the way you think, you know, like you see people who are all like super happy. And if you're not feeling that way, because you only see the best of people on Instagram, typically. Right. Um, and so if you're not feeling that way, you start to think of yourself as like less. Yeah. Right. Let me throw some stats at you. Oh, okay. This, this go into what you're kind of talking about. Okay. okay. I got these from uh, comparecamp.com. I just Googled screen addiction data. And this was one of the ones that came up. 109 technology addiction statistics from 2019 statistics. and 2020 data facts and insights and Michael. we got this from the internet so you know it's yeah, reliable it's, it's definitely 100 percent accurate all the time okay here's some here's some there's different categories in here i just want to read you some of these these are crazy yeah. i was my mind was getting blown today. okay it was it, yeah the average smartphone user touches their device 2617 times a right. day right a so day this Wait, hang on hang on including the ones performed when the screen the phone is locked oh wait so like swiping up you know to to turn because you know oh okay i I turned my phone on just to check did i get a message right so he's talking they're talking about that too but hang on here here's this part this is good this is crazy this this is connected heavy users on the other hand touch their device five thousand four hundred and twenty seven times a day that is insane five thousand times a day what's the what's the statistic of like how many physical interaction like physical touches a human supposed to have in a day to feel like loved or whatever have you you know what i'm talking about yeah there's some statistic now it's and it's zero like 16 or something like that yeah now it's zero, zero physical interactions is, a, is, is loving a proof. Yeah. yeah um but like if you think about it that way the phone probably feels very loved yeah yeah well Um, all i was thinking about is like when was the last time you cleaned your phone oh and honestly you touched it five thousand times i use my phone while i'm pooping that's okay don't don't say it's so many everybody does that's true and i'm just thinking about the fact that you pooped and then you touched it probably four thousand times after that i i i'm not i'm no heavy user i probably like three thousand (laughs) okay let let me go some more of these. these these are crazy so then we could get through these and talk about it after the end on average, users spend two hours and 51 minutes on their phone a day. That's actually less than I expected. Yeah. Some of these kind of seem to go against each other. I think someone just compiled some of these stats. Mm. 57% of American users admitted their screen time increased by more than an hour ever since the coronavirus lockdowns were implemented. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Which, like, I thought it would be more than that. But only 57% admitted admitted it. Doesn't mean not more. The average user checks Dirty his liars. or her phone every twelve minutes. Twelve minutes. Honestly, that to me seems small too. Well, you got to think like most people at work aren't going to be. Oh, that that's phone true. Off. Yeah, like that. That's still a, that's a lot. Right. You're not supposed to be on your phone at work. Yeah, that's fair. For users below twenty one, the duration goes to eight point six minutes. Huh. So if okay. you're under twenty one, even more. People with smartphones yeah. far outnumber those that have toilets what yeah <laughs> that that was the one that got to me there are more smartphone smartphone owners than toilet owners how much does it cost to buy and install a toilet i don't know do you think it's under? i'm not a plumber i can ask my father-in-law he's a plumber because i wonder i wonder if it's less expensive than buying a phone and paying for a phone plan here's what i think though 
if you got five people in your house, most people don't got five toilets in their house. So it somewhat makes sense in like an American culture. But you think about the whole world, right? That's a lot, a lot of people. That's true. I mean, I mean to be fair, you could just poop or pee outside. That's true. Dig a hole, you're fine. Almost forty, almost forty percent of all users admit to using their phones too much. The rate is even higher for eighteen to thirty-four year olds, which say sixty-four percent. So we're almost right on that mark. That's true. Yeah, that's crazy. All right, let's see. I got a couple more. 86% of smartphone users check their phones while talking to friends or family. All right, I'm going to go on a mini rant right here. Okay. Do I have time? I got time. I think I got time. Mini rant. Don't do this. If you're talking to me, like I know I was on my phone when you were talking. Yeah. Because I was looking up statistics. Right. Don't do this. Like this to me yeah. is the, like I will stop my sentence and I will sit and stare at you. Not you personally. Right. But like just people in general. Like – if I'm sitting having a conversation with you and you have the audacity, not the app, uh, yeah. to pull out your phone, like while I'm in mid conversation, I'm like, what the heck, man? I'll just stop and I'll stare until you're done. And I'll be very, very forward, yet passively aggressive about it where I won't say anything. But I'll give you that look like, right. For those that uh, are just listening uh, with your ears and not with your eyes. I made a very mean face. Um, it looked like his normal face. <laughs> <laughs> but like that, I think that is part of our, part of the issue of like, you are in a room with other people interact with those people. And I know it's so easy to be like, Oh, I'm not in the mood right now. Like right. I just want to hang out, but I don't really want to talk and I want to engage. Then go home. Like mm. that's okay. But like the, the whole like, way we've moved in culture where we can sit in a room and I, and maybe this is just how I was raised by my father and, and my mom and you know, my, my, just my family of like, right. that's rude. And I know I do it too. Right. right. Like, and I need to, I continue to try and get better at that. But right. I think sitting, it's something that all of us have done or do. Right. But it's, it's just, just, we shouldn't yeah, do it. Or if you're okay with it of like, Oh yeah, I just, uh, you know, I'm sitting in a room with all these people right. and I'm just on my phone. And, or especially if someone's like talking directly to you and you just right. get on your phone, like especially if it's friends or family, it's just, just put it away. Hang out with the people face to face. Like mm -hmm. you're going to, it's going to be harder. You're going to have to actually emotionally, physically, mentally engage with what's going on, but that's better for you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Wait, wait. So I have a question. What do you think about when people are hanging out? Cause this is something that Tony and I do to, for those of you who are listening. Uh, Tony's my girlfriend. I've mentioned her a couple of times. Um, Tony and I will sit there and yeah, um, <laughs> Tony and I will sit there every now and then and just like look at Instagram reels together. Yeah. What, how, how do you, how do you feel about that? Yeah. Eric and I will uh, do that. Or like sometimes we're both just like watching TV and we're on our phones. Right. And like, I don't, I don't think there's a problem if you're both on your phones. My thing is like, if you are like with friends and family specifically, yeah. like my wife and I, we hang out a lot. Right. Right. Um, and so there's times where we're just like, and then we're like sitting watching TikTok together. Or, you know, she's on her phone and I'm yeah. on Instagram. We're like showing each other stuff, whatever. Right. Whatever. I think that's fine. Yeah. Um, if it's kind of known that that's what you're doing together. Yeah. But if like you come over to my house and, you know, a couple other people are like, hey, let's have a game night. And you're just sitting in the corner, like by yourself, not playing right. like, like games and not doing anything. You're like, oh, I'm not really in the mood. I'm like, then why did you come over, man? Like yeah. we're having game right. night. Right. Right. Or like the other night we were, you know, we had, we were, had a bunch of people over and we we're sitting out by the fire and I love fire, right? I love building fires. I love making fires really, really big. I love dancing in fire. Um, I don't do that. That just sounds kidding. dangerous. Um, but you know, it was just funny to watch. There were those that turned to the person to the right or the left and started talking to them. And there are those that were uncomfortable and they went right to their phone. Mm. And I'm like, you're outside sitting. It's, it was gorgeous outside. It we're in that gorgeous beautiful outside, Arizona yeah. weather. If you don't live in Arizona, it's amazing here right now. And that was the time to travel. Yeah, here. We had, we had a fire going on, which was beautiful. I love fire. Um, and just, we had a bunch of people hanging out. Right. Yeah. And there was just people like not engaged cause they were on their phone. Right. Now, this isn't like shots at them. This is just, this is what our culture has come to. We're right. Like, oh, yeah. well, nobody's talking to me, so I'm gonna 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 get on my phone. Right. And I think that's where I like I, I think social media has hurt us the most, or screens have hurt us the most because it's just so easily accessible. Where it's like, no man, take that step. Right. Be okay to look a little different and odd. Right. A little weird. And just talk to someone. Ask them about something. Ask them if they like fire. It doesn't matter. Don't ask them if you're in a coffee shop if they like fire, because that's probably like an alarming question. Like, hey man, do you like fire? Do you like fire? 
Do you, do you like to go to the woods by yourself? Like, no, please don't no, murder don't, me. I just want to drink my coffee. Yeah. I do um, with that, like, because I, I think there is a time when it's it's just because you're uncomfortable. Right. Yeah, but I think there's sure. also times where, like, for me, like, I've done that before. And it's just because I'm a little bit bored, yeah. which I think is a terrible excuse. You know, right. it's like, I don't, I just don't really want to interact right now because I just mm-hmm. don't feel like putting in the effort. Right. You know? But that's uh, what I'm saying. Like, that's where you're like, mentally or emotionally or whatever phys- even physically disengaging from right. whoever's in front of you for something that is still taking some form of some form of physical and right. mental it's just like instant right. gratification it's just different right yeah and you get to choose like you were talking about right. last week you get to choose what you interact with at that point yeah like and you you have the ability to be like no i'm not going to respond to this right where like right. you start a conversation and i'm like hey you know what's your name and then all of a sudden that, you know, progresses to like, what do you do? And, you know, how's right. your family? And, and all of a sudden you're like, oh, like I have to actually be vulnerable now. Right. And, and sometimes you have to push through kind of like monotonous small talk to mm-hmm. like get to a deep spot with somebody. Because not everybody's willing to be like, hey, actually, I used to be a murderer. You yeah. know, like, you know, like, <laughs> oh, oh okay, like, let's talk about that. But yeah. like, you have to get through some stuff before you find out people are murderers. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. That would, that would definitely take me for a loop if all of a sudden he's like yeah so i'm actually a murderer i could tell by the way you <laughs> you chopped the wood over there yes. we're thrown into the fire <laughs> all right i got i got four more of these all right we got like three minutes yeah i got this we're good on average a person spends oh wait i already read that one. Oh wait no i didn't on average a person spends two hours and 24 minutes per day on social media this amounts to more than five years of their lifespan oh my gosh all right hang on got three more Forty-one percent of teens admit to spending too much time on social media. That's a, that's pretty high. Forty-one percent of teens think they spend too much time. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor, more time is spent on social media than shopping, eating, and drinking, or socializing in person, and doing household chores combined. All or of those combined. Yeah. Oh my, that's crazy. Because that's, that's so more time, time on social media than than doing just everyday life yeah. things. I would say that shopping probably doesn't rate very high on the hours because you could just online shop. everybody shops yeah. online now. Last one. Between Dang, Amazon. Al- yeah, I love Amazon. I do too. Two-day uh-huh. shipping, man. Please please sponsor us. Amazon. Well, that's just Audible. Yeah. No, we, we want Amazon. To, we want we Jeff Bezos what are we to sponsor gonna- us. <laughs> Shout out, please. If, if you just can get kidding. Jeff Bezos to come on this podcast, I'll buy you a sushi roll. I don't like sushi. Well, then I'll eat it for okay, you. Okay, that's fine. Last one. Between 11 and 43% of social media users in the U.S. feel bad when their post receives only a few likes. Oh. That is that is so true. I, I, I can relate to that where I'm like, that was such a great tweet. And then nobody likes it. And you're like, well, you know I'm what worthless. I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? What? I'm going to post it on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, so let, let's kind of close this up. What are... You have any final thoughts for me? The the closing thought I had was, I need to get off my phone as much, especially like I want to be more um, proactive at putting my phone aside yeah. when um, we have people over. So like yeah. tonight we're hanging out with some friends. I want to make sure my phone is not, you know, yeah. hindering the closeness and the intimacy that we should have with those friends. Right, right. That's what I'm going to be working on. Yeah. Um, I don't really, I think that's, that's good. It's just don't be addicted to your screen or if you are just start to tone it back. You know what I mean? Just mm-hmm. like if you have an iPhone, use that screen yeah. timer, whatever it's called. Yeah. Whatever it's called. Or like if you're like me where you wake up and you sit on Instagram reels for like an hour, like that's a problem. And I can say that cause I have the problem. Yeah. And so I haven't done anything to figure it out yet. So maybe I can't tell you what to do, but I'll tell you next week what you're supposed to do. (laughs) And by next week, I mean like three weeks. Well, that's the thing, right? Like we're going to talk about some of the stuff and we hope that our conversation will hopefully spark some encouragement where we're going. Yeah. We're, we're still struggling with this. You're right. Um, But we're going to, we're working to get better. We're not just going to, we're not, this isn't going to be a place where it's like, Oh, we both are awful at this. Right. Well, we're not going to do anything. Like we're, we want to actually get better at this. I want to be intentional about who my friends are over. Ricky, get off your dang phone, man. Yeah. And when you get up in the morning, read your Bible or read a book or go exercise or make yourself breakfast. Yeah, go for a run. Yeah, go for a run. I'm not going to do that, but you should. Yeah, you should. I'm a reader, not a runner. Yeah. Ooh, that's a, that's a good t-shirt yeah. right there. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, anything else? I got nothing else. Check us out on Instagram, Twitter, 
uh, YouTube, check out our website, follow us, share, review, like, comment, all those things that YouTubers and podcasters and all that stuff supposed to say. But thanks for listening. Until next time, stay on.